And there are two phrases that I hear again and again and again. New leadership and getting things done. Former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley is running for the Democratic presidential nod. For now, O'Malley's up against just two other nominees compared to the increasingly crowded Republican field. But he still has quite the hurdle, overcoming Hillary Clinton's huge lead in popularity. Hillary kicked things off by going completely unrecognized at a Chipotle. Not to be outdone, Martin O'Malley kicked things off by going completely unrecognized at a Martin O'Malley campaign event. <laughs> The president may have been joking, but O'Malley has nowhere near the name recognition Clinton does. A March Washington Post ABC poll showed O'Malley had the support of just 1% of the public nationally. But speaking to the Wall Street Journal, O'Malley says he has a strategy to beat Clinton, casting himself as a more authentic liberal. Given his history leading the charge over divisive social issues, O'Malley may be in the right position to do just that. As Maryland's governor, he managed to raise the minimum wage, push through strict gun laws, get rid of the death penalty, and back same-sex marriage. He's also touted his seven years as Baltimore's mayor and eight years as Maryland's governor as valuable executive experience that Clinton lacks. So I certainly have different experience than Secretary Clinton has, and executive experience matters. Of course, the fact that he still plays live music in a Celtic rock band called O'Malley's March probably won't hurt his chances either. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.